I'm going to give you three views of chemistry. Um, and the first of these is an old one, uh, that chemistry is the art, craft, and business. It always was a business. You need an economic basis for anything we do of substances and their transformations. And this definition of chemistry preceded the existence of chemists as scientists, and even the word chemistry. Because people were put on this earth to transform it, um, and they change it in essential ways. Let me give you an example. At the top are three works of art of uh, our civilization. At the left, a wall painting from Luxor in Thebes. At the center, a gate of Ishtar, which once stood in Babylon, and then through a feat of imperialism for a change not American, found its way to Berlin. And at right, you see an example of Hellenistic painting, um, a form of realistic representation with all the limitations on what realism means, which preceded the Italian Renaissance by 1,500 years. The green and the blue in these is not a natural pigment. There was a blue that was available. It was, as is today, expensive. It was lapis lazuli, ultramarine, and you can see it in the paintings of the painters who had access to it in the Renaissance, but the blue and the green here from the blue are both something called Egyptian blue, which is shown as a powder at the bottom here. It is a product of human transformation coming out of the preeminence of the Egyptians in uh, making glass and enamel, and it's essentially a powdered glass of a blue pigment which contains the same um, components as glass. 